number two I spent in the Walmart parking lot at Natchez, Mississippi. Blood number two on the trip. Mm. I was opening my frozen water bottle. That's the way I do my ice drinks on the road. That's tea down in there, by the way. It's breakfast time. And boy, the blood froze freely when you're on uh, blood well, Part thinners. about that cut was I'm not even going to drink tea this morning. I'm gonna have some milk to go with my honey bun because I ate all my dark chocolate covered almonds for breakfast yesterday. Uh, I know the further I get on this trip, hopefully the less I'll, once I get all the sweets eaten up, I'll start going for protein at breakfast time. All right, this is a Natchez, well you saw it, historical park or site. Got the Spanish moss hanging from the trees. Looks like a plantation house out here. Gravel road, a big pond and field. plantation house you can't get to they got unless you go around that people attempted a vec barrier so let's go deeper into the historic site need to do a little brush clearing There's some uh, plantation buildings, plantation house. <coughs> and you can go to the visitor center. And some barns, picnic area. And some sargo, uh, some um, uh, cotton and sugar cane uh, plants. We'll stop right here and read this. Now, Lenny can illuminate us on this, but from what I understand, in the historic days, they would load the tobacco on uh, flatboats and float them down to Natchez or New Orleans and then walk back, and they would come on the Natchez Trace, which we traveled on yesterday. And my curiosity knows no bounds, but I think uh, I'm not going into the plantation house on this trip anyway. Right, this is the pond at the Natchez historical site. And I was checking for alligators. I guess we're, I don't know if we're far enough south for them to be here or not. But since the temperature won't get above 60 today, today I guess it's way too cold for them. But if you'll notice right around the pond, those are cypress knees. Only cypress trees covered by Spanish moss. It's Thursday morning and I'm in the city of Natchez, Mississippi and traffic is surprisingly light. Of course it's after nine, so I guess the people who do work are already at work. We're preparing to leave Mississippi and enter Louisiana. Conway Twitty and Loretta Lynn had a uh, song about a fella swimming across the uh, Mississippi River to visit a girlfriend. A uh, Louisiana woman and a Mississippi man. A mighty 
Mississippi. Plans are we'll spend several days here in Louisiana. Southwest Louisiana, anyway. Get to Delta Town's racetrack and watch some horse races. Out of Natchez, Mississippi into Vidalia, Louisiana. It's an urban conglomerate, conglomeration. This is the Louisiana Swamp, not far from Alexandria, Louisiana. This is a wildlife management agency. And you can actually spend some time camping in here. I don't know if I want to do it now because this may still be deer hunting season here. It was in Mississippi. But off to the sides of the road and bridges or channels and creeks and bayous this is a this is a well traveled little road I suspect that gentleman is uh, probably hunting home and again hammered by a snowstorm. There's no walk in the park down here either. Look at the cloudy skies and the temperatures not suspected to get out of the 50s today. All right a little community out here in the middle of nowhere with a family dollar and a dollar general. Hey it's the size of Greensburg. So they've got two gas stations. Look at that tower and tell me what it is. Because here's the cell tower. Hmm. We're approaching Alexandria, Louisiana. And I think the weatherman man on the radio this morning has been fear mongering. The temperature is already above 50. <laughs> it must be some of that liberal uh, news media, you know, that scare everybody. Even if they tell lies. All right, we are at a Walmart. Head west toward Yes, we will. We're going to eat lunch here. I've got uh, some stuff in the refrigerator that I'm going to put in the microwave. Let's get to cooking. We're writing. I'll explain how my refrigerator freezer works. You can choose it to be either a freezer or a refrigerator. And I've got it set on freezing temps. Got it at 23 degrees right now. But I found that the things in the bottom freeze and the things close to the top just stay cold and I set the that that uh, 
charred chili was the first thing I actually loaded into the freezer on my uh, on my trip and it was too close to the bottom and it froze. I've now placed it up uh, a little higher so that uh, for the next meal, maybe it won't be quite frozen quite so hard. All right, let's eat some lunch. Hey, Betty, even sent some crackers. Hmm. Instead of going on this trip, I just should have gone and parked in her driveway for a few months. I just kidding, ain't Betty. <laughs> You probably can't see it yet. We'll ride up in a minute. But there is a military base of some sort right there. And all I can say is God bless the boys in, and men and women in uniform because they have given this country enough freedom that we can have people protesting that we have too much freedom and they want it to be socialists. Uh, we can't, we can't let that happen. We might as well document it all. <coughs> After lunch, uh, this is the way I wash my dishes. Palm olive, the cheapest thing I had in Walmart when I bought some. water put the lid on now the secret to doing one of these uh, microwave uh, dishes you got to close the steam port before you shake it before you put it in the agitation cycle where you get wet and soapy all right and when you're done don't forget to open it back up because when you put it in the microwave and cook something, if that's not open, it goes boom. And you have to wonder what you bone up. I'm going to have to get out my, uh, my microphones, I think. I hope it's not too bad, but we're right beside a pretty busy highway, as you can see in the background. So. Maybe we got some sound. If not, I'll do a voiceover. Anyway. I use these Viva paper towels. They're more expensive, but uh, they come with an added benefit. If you, if you run out of toilet paper, they're soft enough, you could actually use those in a pinch. Of course, I don't use uh, toilet paper. When I do it here, I use baby wipes. Or adult bath cloths. Much, much cleaner. And since I don't have to flush, I don't have to worry about them getting into the sewer. Alrighty. Rinse. Rinse. Dry. And we are ready for the next uh, cooking, cooking in the microwave. All right. I actually just bought another eight pack equals 24 rows of the viva the good cloth stuff because i have noticed on this trip some walmarts are there are some some difficult things to find even at walmart so <sighs> i don't really have the room for all those paper towels i've already got five or six stored away in nooks and crannies but i guess it's better to better to have too many than not enough trash bag I'll put that in a in a trash can and I'm 
guess I'm ready to take a little nap before I move on. These king cakes, apparently there's a prize buried in them. They're sort of like Cracker Jacks for drunk people. That across the road is Kent Beauregard. What an appropriate name for a military installation in Louisiana. All right, 272, I better get some gas. This might be the best place in town to get gas because it's full. <laughs> Walmart was 272 across to the left is 274 and straight up uh, to the right at the Chevron is 309 and there are people filling up the Chevron. <laughs> Let's see if we can navigate it. Horseshoe Drive, all right. Then there's the guy in the BMW. He's done got behind me and I'm gonna drive the speed limit so he'll be tailgating. We're in a Richie neighborhood so that's a lake on the right instead of a pond. Got a bridge. And they're feeding the swans and the ducks, geese, the geese I guess that's all. Where's the ducks? Alright, we're still on this road for 58 miles. And we have 121 to Delta Downs. So we'll, we will be there well before dark. Okay, new game. Every time I pass a dollar store, I'm gonna turn the camera on. There's one, I'll forget to count, but let's see how many we come across. Number two. Hmm. Number three is off to the right. I don't know if we're gonna get it on camera. behind that Popeyes. Oberlin, Louisiana, there's like number four. You don't see many anymore. The maintained fire lookout tower. You're just outside of Oberlin, Oberlin. There's this Cushada Casino out here in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. We'll pull in for a minute and check out. I think they have poker here. I'm not Head going to. Drive, then right, I'm having a bit of an internal debate right now. You tell me what you think. Post time each day at Delta Downs is 12.55. And it's about 2.35 p.m. right now. And I still have a little over an hour to get there. 67 miles and if I get there I'm gonna to be too tired to take in the rest of the day's races so right now I'm parked in the parking lot of the Kushida Kushida Kushada you can see how how draggy I am the Kushada Casino and they do have poker games going so one option is to sleep right now and then when I wake up midnight or 2 a.m. in the morning go in and play if a game's still going on and since it's a Thursday they may be um, and then after a couple hours come back to the van and go back to sleep get up in the morning and go on to Delta Downs in time for the first race
one factor that's complicating my decision is last night when I spent the night in a Walmart parking lot in Natchez, Mississippi. I slept for 11 and a half hours, I think, straight through. So when I get that way, my body says, all right, Tom, you need to take a couple of days and uh, re re regenerate. And my original plan was to get to Delta Downs and then I would park there and I'm through the weekend and leave either Sunday or even Monday and head over to the Texas Gulf Coast beaches. <sighs> one side, one, one, one part of me wants to play some cars and, and win a little money to help defray the cost of the uh, trip. The other probably more rational size says Tom your body's telling you you need to you need to hold up for a while and and I think that well I'm torn what do you think let me know in the comments below anybody know anything about a forest fire in Louisiana Looks like we're approaching one. fog on a sunny day. There it smells like smoke. Well guess what? Dollar store number five. <laughs> Here. Reeves. Reeves. Louisiana. I think this is number six off to the left. You had to play along with me because uh, I tested my, uh, my, uh, my uh, memory, which isn't too sharp when it starts to get tired. I think we're in Quincy, Louisiana. Quincy, Louisiana. Gas is three dollars and eight cents a gallon for regular. That I bought it for two seventy two. Oh wait a minute, it's down to three oh two. Oh, I would buy it on credit anyway, so it's three oh eight. Dogs hurts back there. I should have stopped and took a video of as a gator. Uh, several miles back out in the country now. It had a uh, flag over there. It had a um, flashy sign, one of these electronic signs up front. And the building itself was a no boy I trailer. So I was just thinking, hey, they might have it right. Use the flashing lights to get them in the church. Because the Spirit of the God can be, the Spirit of the Lord can be uh, taught in any place. It don't have to be one of these uh, palaces that many churches seem to want to build. Hey, number seven, Quincy's big enough to have two dollar stores. I believe it's number eight, right? Ooh, the glare is bad. But there is a dollar store there. I guess you figured out that I left the casino and came to 
Delta Downs to spend the night. I think I was parked right along here somewhere. Nice time was here. We're here, Sherry. You can stop. Um, um, all right, we are at Delta Downs, and the racetrack is in front of us. There's one more race on the card today. And I'm not going into the into the facility for that, but we'll sit here and watch the race, <clears throat> at least when they come around to, come around the turn. We're here at the, at the top of the home stretch. And line bonking a bit. We won't see the horses until they come around the far turn here in front of us, but. And we won't see the finish because it's directly into the sun from here. But we get a glimpse of some horses. <clears throat> They're in the gate, all set. And they're off in the nightcap and Delta Downs. We can see them across the way. I don't know how well they'll show up on the film, but number 10, number 2, and number 10, I think, are the two favorites. So here they come. And uh, number 3 and number 8, and number 10 is beat, beaten. 